Hello friends, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. In this video, we'll discuss a very interesting topic of Code Igniter 4 and that is how to upload a file inside application. If I back to editor, so to understand this concept, I need to consider a controller file and a view file. So here, this is a Code Igniter 4 setup. I will go inside app controllers so as i can see here we have multiple controllers but i will open site controller.php so from this controller class we'll call a view file and inside that view file we'll create a form and inside that form we'll have a input type file button from where we can upload any file but here i will consider an image but you can use the same concept inside any of the file concept so here let's create a method first so inside site controller let's say public function i will call it as my form now in this method let's return view and inside this view function i will pass a view file name let's say my form next i need to create that so i will copy go inside app views folder and here I will create let's say myform.php now in this view file we need to create a form so I will use the concept of bootstrap I will go to browser here I have opened bootstrap panel section and I will copy some code from double3schools.com so what I will do I will go inside panel heading let's click on this try it yourself it will provide some code snippet so from this code section, let's select all the code, go here inside this editor and I will paste it here. So here, let's say instead of panel heading, let's say my form instead of h2, I will change into h3. And here inside this panel, panel hyphen default, let's say panel, panel hyphen primary. These are bootstrap classes. Now inside this panel heading, I will call it as my form. Next inside panel content, we need to create a form here. So let's remove this static message. So before creating a form inside this panel body, let's create a route first. So that by the help of that route, we'll call this method and let's see that what basically we have created here. So I will go inside app, config, let's open routes.php and here inside this file let's say routes I will use get method and let's say my hyphen form it will call site controller and from site controller we will call my form method save these changes back to project terminal let's start development server so php spark serve press enter as we can see development server started so i will copy this project url copy link back to browser open a new tab i am pasting our project url and as we can see that now i am opening successfully all about the landing page so if i type here project url forward slash let's say my form so here this is the panel so far what we have created now in this panel body, we want a form here. Next we need to create a form inside this panel. So to create a form, I will go inside this w3schools.com. From this documentation, scroll down, I will click on this BS form. It means bootstrap forms. So here we can see that here we have multiple layouts. But I will go and choose all about this bootstrap horizontal form. So here we have some code snippet. So I will copy all about this form tag. Just copy back to editor and pasting it here. So if I save all these changes, go and reload. Now we can see that inside this bootstrap panel, inside this my form, here we have a bootstrap form. Now according to our need, we need to customize that. Back to editor. So here, let's first I will go and just pass it a hash symbol. We don't need this email address. Let's say name value. Name. 
id equals to name let's add a name attribute equals to name enter name value instead of input type text means email i will pass it a text value all we have done with this name field we don't need this password field i've removed that and also we don't need this remember me so here we have only the name field i will copy put here two more times second one is for email address let's say email and input type email next one we have for the image so let's say profile image profile underscore image i will copy this name attribute pass it here inside this id value so instead of passing input type text let's say input type file button and here btn space btn hyphen default I will pass it another bootstrap class that is btn hyphen btn success. So save these changes, go and reload. Now we can see that inside this bootstrap panel, here we have three input fields called a name field, email field and a profile image field. Now what we want from this form? So after filling all the data of this name field, email field, also after selecting this profile image, so once we upload the form data to our server we want that this profile image should be uploaded inside our application so let's go to editor next we need to update this action attribute so that whenever we fill all the data when we press the submit button so the form data will go here inside this action attribute so instead of passing this hashed symbol let's pass php tag echo site url now next we need to pass our action url so i will go inside routes.php let's create a post route routes i will use post method and here i will use a different route let's say form submit and also i will use some different method to handle our form submission so let's call it as form submit i will copy the method name go to site controller and here let's a public function it will be form submit let's go to my form so here i will pass this route so form hyphen submit pass it here and also i will add one more attribute here inside this form tag and that will be method method equal to post now let's go inside site controller and here let's say if this request I will use get method to check that this method will be hit using post request type. So echo let's say form submitted and I will use exit here. Save all these changes back to browser. Go and reload. First I will check our action URL. So I can see that project URL index.php and form hyphen submit. So whenever we reload this page, so from routes.php, this get method is working. But whenever we fill all the data, press this submit button, then the post method will work. So let's pass some data here. So let's say test name, test at gmail.com. I will not pass any value for this profile image click on submit button now we can see form submitted so successfully we are coming inside this form submit method so i will remove these two static lines and instead of these messages i will use the concept of file uploading so what i will do let's say data or if i will call it as form data let's say this request if I will use get var, it means we are reading our input values. But if we want to actually read our file values, so for that, let's say files equals to this request and we need to use get file. 
And one more thing, as we know that from this form actually we are uploading a profile image. So here, one more attribute we must need to add inside this form tag and that will be ink type equals to multipart form data. So after adding these attributes, let's go inside site controller. We need to pass our name attribute of profile image. So here I will go and copy the name attribute that is profile underscore image right here inside this get file method. Let's, let's call it as file info. Now next, let's say print r. If I print all the form data values and also let's print all the values of this file info. Echo be a tag and also I need to format our output so I will add a PRE tag. So if I will save all these changes back to browser, go back to form, I will pass some value here. So let's say test name test at gmail.com. Let's select a profile image. So I will select this one. Let's click on the submit button. So here, as we can see that the first array is all about our form data values. But the second array, we can see that it's an object and this is a upload file object. Inside this upload file object, we have multiple informations. Now by using this upload file object, we can actually upload this uploaded file to our application. So how to upload back to editor. I will remove all these codes from here. So first I will check that this object or this variable is not equals to empty. So here if not empty, let's say file info, it means file has been uploaded. So after getting the file, let's say file name, it means we are getting the file name variable means file name value. So file info because it's an object and I will use get name method. Once we use this get name method, it means we are picking the name value. So here file name variable is going to contain the name of the file. So after getting the file name, now next we need to upload into our application. So we will use move method. So here let's say file info because it's an object and from this object we'll call move method. Look at IntelliSense inside this move method. The first value we need to pass the target path. It means where inside our application we want to upload this file. So let's say that I want to upload this file into images folder. So if I will pass here let's say images. One more thing. By default, when we use this move method, all the files will be uploaded inside this public folder. But here I have passed images. It means that this images directory will be created inside this public folder. This move method will upload our uploaded file inside public inside this images folder. Now next inside the second value, look at IntelliSense. We need to pass our file name value. So I will copy this file name, put it here. So once the file will be uploaded, after success, it will return a true value. In case if we are getting any errors, then it will return a boolean false value. I will wrap inside this if else block. So if our move method so this if block indicates that we have successfully uploaded our profile image into application. So this is our success block. Here we have another block that is else block. And this block indicates all about error. It means fail to upload our profile image into this application. So for the time being, it's echo file uploaded. And here let's echo fail to upload an image. So if we save all these changes, go here. Let's go back to our form. Let's pass some value here. So sample, sample at gmail.com. Let's select a profile image. Click on submit button. 
and as we can see file uploaded so once we get this message go to application and we need to check all about this public folder and as we can see images directory automatically gets created and inside this images directory hopefully we can see our uploaded file so this is how we can upload any of the file inside our application one more thing i want to discuss before closing this video is that suppose here we have the file name and we have uploaded inside application now i am doing another registration of any user and uploading the same file with the same name so in that case the file name will be replaced because this name is actually taken by one user while uploading the data for second user the same file name will replace the existing one so to actually solve this issue it means we want to store all the images all the profile images of all user so it means we want to generate a random unique value of each profile image so that the new file name will not be replaced or will not replace the existing files to generate a unique random value here let's say name array name array equals to i will use php explode function let's put a dot here and then i will pass file name what actually we are trying to do here as we know that inside this file name we'll get the value as abc.png something value dot jpg now i want these values into an array format so that we can get this extension so here this line of code is going to give the value as abc and in the second value as png now next i have to generate a unique random value so let's say new file name equals to i will use time function it is also a php function which returns the timestamp value and i will concatenate that value with the extension so the extension value is stored at the end of this array so i will use one more php function that is end and i will pass name array so automatically this new file name is going to contain the name as the current timestamp value concatenated with this extension value now i will copy this new file name and pass it here let's save this change back to form let's reload that and let's pass one more time sample sample at gmail.com let's select this image value click on submit file uploaded back to editor now we can see that here we have generated a unique value again if we will upload let's go back to form let's upload the same image click on submit button file uploaded back to editor now we can see that here we have the new image but the file name is different so this is how we can generate a new file name with each upload so this is all about a successful completion of uploading a file inside codeigniter 4 so this is the very basic video to upload any file you can use the concept of model even you can save all the data inside a database table so successfully we have completed all about the concept of file uploading for this video so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day